Hey Richard here on June the 26th. I've decided to call this a non-arrowhead hunting day. Um, but I did. Hey, there's my little Bailey. I talked to Steve Lee last night and he's going to sponsor an arrowhead show on August the 20th. Him and the Greater St. Louis Archaeologist. Oh, that's so easy for me to say. Archaeology. Yeah, that kind of society. And it's going to be at the Lions Club August 19th and 20th. It, um, I think he told me it's, it's a two table limit is, is the most you can have. It should be a really, really good show because there's a lot, have a lot of variety of stuff with everybody sharing. Well, I was going to show a, oh, I had a little bunny rat coming around here. I don't know where he got away from me at. Hey, who would leave a pile of sift dirt right by that tree? Oh, there he is. I guess I knew I seen a rabbit over here in the yard. He's been here for about two months. My wife said I just first day I've seen him. Hey, there's a bird right before him too. How about that? Let's walk over and see how close we can get. It might take off, but got tons of robin's nests around here. Oh, oh there he goes. All right. So anyway, it ought to be a really cool show. And I'm just going to stick around today, clean up the rocket ship. Look at it. It's a, that's a mess. You might be able to find some arrowheads in there. Look, there's a half one right there. Got to do a lot of, a lot of yard work. Got to trim this bush up. It's looking terrible. Got to trim that bamboo up too. My goodness. This arrowhead hunting's got me far, far behind. Now I'm going to go down there and um, I'm going to cut the grass and I'm going to paint the model. And I'll get back with you in a little while. I think I have awoken the dogs. Has that awakened? Oh, I should have paid better attention. I'll get back with you. Hey, what up, Mr. Wilson? What up there? Don't you just try to paw, Dad. My dad loves you. How about you, Jacob? You got to jump up here for me? Come on, do your springboard. There you go. And my handsome girl, little Scully. That's little baby Scully. Chew up everything I had when we first got her. She's just getting to be more of a lovable pup as she gets older. I said, I'm about nine years old, Dad. Yeah. And got steel knees and everything else in me. So I can run and jump. Like a super million dollar lab. Hey. Alright. They do they never answer me really. They don't. Daisy sometimes answers me. What are you doing, Daisy? Talk to me. You just get out of here, Princess Daisy. <laughs> Boo. You get on out of here. Back talking dad. <laughs> you. You think I'm scared of you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come beat your little butt. <laughs> Always gotta have one spoiled kid. But she does get up with me every morning. Don't you stick by my side. <laughs> okay. Hey, 
Did I ever tell you all I found a, um, a pendant? If you come to that show, you'll get to see it. That's so cool being able to grab a piece of Indian metal. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know if I said that if you needed a table, you needed to get a hold of Steve Lee at 573-280-1788. And hey, did you hear about the sloth on his way home from work? Got mugged by three turtles. The first officer at the scene asked the sloth, he said, well, can you identify who mugged you? And he said, well, officer, it all happened so fast. I'll get back with you. Hey, this is Richard. We're at the Paw Paw Patch here. This is um, down underneath the hill to start with. And believe it or not, we probably got about 50% of this thing dug up. And then I come up my ditch. And here's the first rock feature, which had the hematite and all that stuff located down in here. Quite a few points around it. And then we move on over here to our other big rock. That, and um, we're just in the process of getting around him. Haven't found much there yet. But so far, right here in the very center, down about... 20 inches deep is where we found the most stuff in between the fire pit and the back wall. There's the back wall, of course, and there's the end of the tree. And on this end here, I've got about one foot left to go, and it's, I think I'm going to be at the end. Now, unless this thing extends on over here, like where I've seen that fire pit, which I believe is going to, I'll probably have to make a bigger model. But this here is just in front of the thing. And like I said, I think I got about 50% dug. We'll start carving around as we go now. And this here, of course, is your little platform coming out. And then it kind of goes down deep, deeper. And then it's going to drop deeper yet, I can tell. So. Maybe we can find some more bone tools. Hopefully a bunch more rice side notches and a couple more Snyders and Adenas. It ain't area 51 and a half material, but it is pretty cool still. They're always all cool in their own rights. All right, I'm going to quit talking and um, put this baby on the internet. And maybe tomorrow I can get a little bit of um, digging done. Haven't got to the pottery yet. I will. Someday soon. The old pawpaw. Later. <laughs>